I really want to stay here and take my time, but I can't because I still have a mountain of a problem. Enda, the madaka niya do jiache yori ndi dzurere madaka. Okay, jokes aside, guys, my name is TJ, and as you you can already see, this thing is called to travel. Now I know, I was a bit too ambitious with the name, because if you're gonna name something to travel, uh, you you need to be sure that you're gonna be able to do a lot of travel. But I guess the name is already set in stone, so we're just gonna have to wait and find out if we're gonna be able to live up to the name, right? Now, saying that I might have been ambitious with the naming, it doesn't mean that I don't love to travel. I love to travel. I love being outside. I love nature. I love the outdoor. Like I love doing outdoor activities. And I love the countryside. I really, really love the countryside. Well, I think that's because I love fresh air and tranquility. Now, if you're asking yourself, what am I doing in this video? Well, you already know. I'm shooting a video for to travel. And in this, uh, in this video, I'm looking for two things. I'm looking for a waterfall and a, a viewpoint somewhere up in these woods. And I decided that while I'm looking for that viewpoint and that waterfall, I will also be telling you guys what are my intentions with to travel, what I intend to achieve, and what, I, what are my goals for to travel. I want you to come with me in this journey. It might be short-lived, depending on the support I get from you guys. So while we are heading there to try to find this... Uh, this viewpoint and this waterfall i'll be telling you what this thing is about and what i want you to do to support me in this to travel thing is that cool let's go okay now let's talk what does to travel aim to do well to travel's mission is to showcase attractions accommodations and activities in the countryside and this video is a good example of what I'm trying to do and achieve with to travel. Meaning if I have resources to travel, I'll go to the remotest area, as long as the main attraction there has something to do with nature. Now the thing is, for me to be able to pull this off, I know I'm going to need a lot of help. From here I think I, I have an idea of what the viewpoint is going to look like. Check this out. I think we're still at a very low altitude here because at the viewpoint we're supposed to see uh, the dam. Yeah. And the dam is, is down there. Well, uh, make sure you subscribe and follow as we proceed you see the problem with taking breaks while talking about serious stuff now i forgot what i was talking about i just thought i should stand next to this board and remind you to subscribe and follow that's it <coughs> Oh, 
Oh, uh, now I remember what I was saying. I was saying I will need a lot of help for me to be able to pull this off. You may be asking yourself, what type of help do I need? Well, this thing is still just an infant. I don't know how far I'll be able to take it. And at this moment, the only help I need from you is for you to watch this video. Is for you to share this video. Is for you to subscribe. Is for you to follow. Is for you to comment. That will be nice. With that being said, welcome to the first stupid mistake I made on this day. Hey guys. So I think I found the viewpoint, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to drive over there. I might be able to but if i think i can't then i'll go over there by foot This was the moment I realized I might have a very bad day. The poor engine just died because it couldn't take it anymore. This road is strictly for 4x4s and to make it worse on me here, the road was eroded by heavy rains from the past few days. In my defense, they didn't put up a sign to warn people like me. Well, it's, it's not looking good. I'll just try to to walk up there. Unfortunately, our vehicle is too small for this. I really regret even starting this journey up here. I should have left the car down there. I'm really, really nervous right now. Uh, this is the place. I don't know if anybody's home, but I'm not gonna try to see if there's anyone home. But this is the the viewpoint we came here for. I don't want to go to those stones because I don't want to interfere. But yeah, this is it. It's Nandoni Dam over there. And that is Chachevonda Dam. I really want to stay here and take my time, but I can't because I still have a mountain of a problem. Our car is uh, going through a lot. Coming up here was a very, very stupid idea. So let's, let's go back. I pray to God that I'll be able to make it 
down there safely so that I can go to Chiroba waterfalls. Oh, this is not cool. Now at this point I was so frustrated, I even forgot that I was vlogging. The moment I tried to reverse the car, it slid into a ditch and it took me the better part of an hour to be able to free myself. I had to do this very carefully because one mistake, I could have been stuck. So for every slight movement I have to get out of the car to inspect my position. Well, <laughs> we got out. We got out. I was scared. I was nervous. And I'm still nervous. <sighs> I'm never going to do something like that again. Let's go. While we talk some more. And try to find the waterfall. Okay, here's another thing I want you to know. Into travel, I'm not trying to lure you to go to places you don't want to go. And that's why I don't have any reason to glamorize anything. I will show you things for what they truly are. You'll understand the experience I go through to get to these places. I think it's only right. What do you think? Yeah. I'm now heading to the direction of the waterfall. I think it's not far from here. Let's go. So the waterfall is on that side of this lake. And these guys are fishing. Now here I was going to assess the water damage on this low water bridge. The heavy rains from a few days before have really damaged this road. And at a place like this, you need to be very careful. But now I can hear the sound of the waterfall. So there was no going back for me. I'm telling you. So that low water bridge is not looking good. So I'm gonna ask these guys if they are not that way so just asking some guys where the waterfall is apparently you just take this water bridge and that other road it, it, it's a long dry and they're saying it might be as damaged as this one so i'm between two thoughts should i leave the car here and walk or should i try to cross let me go check this place one more time and see if I well i decided we should we should cross i think uh, we can
yes we made it <laughs> now it's time to go check out what the waterfall look like ladies and gentlemen welcome to Chiroga waterfalls So yeah, we made it, <laughs> we made it and I'm about to sit here and catch my breath, wow. This is a beautiful place, man. So tell me something, if I give you the coordinates of this place, will you come? Like, if I lay down the map and the directions in description, will you visit this place? Because I'm certain that I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna come back here over and over again i don't know about you tell me what you think oh. now this is the best swimming pool you can ask for in the wild it's beautiful so let me see if I can get over there get a closer look oh 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 yay yeah, yeah. Uh. Uh. I will try not to fall because this pool is deep <laughs> you might not be able to see this is a good three or four meters I'm telling you Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you follow. Make sure you subscribe and share. <laughs> it really took a lot to make this one. I'm not gonna lie. Now, I guess it's time for me to go. Uh, this was awesome, but challenging. Very challenging. But I'm still here. And I'm getting out of here. I don't think I will shoot anything else on my way out so thank you see you in the next one